in my bowl here, I have three, two cans. I'm gonna put a third one of tomato with uh, the skin removed and the sort of sauce that's there. Here's the thing, I've tried different types of tomato in this recipe, and the one that stands out from time to time, forget the brand, San Marzano tomato. Yo, there's a huge difference in using San Marzano versus just plum tomato, any other canned tomato. It's probably double the price of your regular tomato because this one is imported from Italy. Um, so I'm gonna go in with three cans in total. I have it in a bowl here, and what I'm gonna do next is crush them with my, with my hand like so, just to make it easier because then I'm gonna go in with my stick blender and I want to puree this um, as smooth as I can. Um, I don't want it chunky at all. I mean, it will cook for a bit, so it will break down later on. Now I know you're wondering, well, Chris, you're watching this and you're like, Chris, pizza sauce, Caribbean, what kind of thing you want? Like you smoking some real tampi there, sir? Listen, I have, <laughs> I don't know if you guys saw the teaser, but I have a brand new wood fire oven outside and while I'm not the biggest fan of pizza yeah I'm not the biggest fan of pizza I thought I'm gonna rock well I'm giving a lot of thought into it some Caribbean version pizza so the sauce will come in handy you won't see this recipe on caribbeanpot.com obviously but I just thought I'd share the video in case you want to make your own pizza sauce because I hate buying things that I can't read the ingredient list and understand what they are so making it nice and fresh and I'm making a huge batch I know I'm talking quite a bit but a huge batch is going to be frozen I'm going to divide it up into portions and I'm going to freeze it uh, so whenever I need some pizza sauce I'll, I, you know it's already there so that is the reason why I'm sharing the recipe with you also I've broken up these with my fingers as I said now be careful when you're squeezing it it may jump back on you and mess up your clothes and kitchen and thing but you know I'm gonna add the other can, San Marzano tomato, and I'm gonna hit the stick blender. And I'm just trying to be careful not to make a mess in the kitchen. I'm gonna buzz this until it's relatively smooth. I have a nice deep pan here on a medium flame. I'm gonna go in with a couple tablespoons of good olive oil. To that, right away, I've got some pepper flakes, just, just to flavor just a little bit. We don't want to overpower anything. I've got a teaspoon of dried oregano, and I'm gonna put it in my hand, and I'm just gonna squish it, just to waken it up just a little bit. Turn my heat down to low at this point. Um, I've got some garlic here, and this is just my crushed garlic, my prepared crushed garlic, that, that video I showed you guys. Uh, not too long ago, just gonna move that around and my heat has been reduced to low now. I just want to waken up all those flavors there before we add the pureed tomato to the mix. To that, I'm gonna add some fresh ground black pepper and I'm just gonna give that about a minute because I don't want to burn the garlic. It's very important that we don't burn the garlic. Kitchen is already smelling lovely. So at this point is where, away from me, I'm gonna add all of that pureed San Marzano tomato in there. I am unpaid top dollar for that, so my hand is going in and there to scrape that down. And what we need to do, this is too runny at this point here. So what we need to do is bring it up to a boil. Then we're gonna reduce it to a simmer and let that simmer down and thicken up and it's gonna have a lovely, I'm talking about wicked, pizza sauce and the whole idea is not to have a pizza sauce that's overpowering because you want the other ingredients to complement the sauce once you put it onto your pizza what I like is a bit of onion flavor in there but I don't want the texture I don't want the I, I just want the flavor of the onion so what I did was I peeled it I left the stem part on so it holds it together cut it in half and we're just gonna sink that in there and you really cannot make a good pizza sauce without some basil, so some fresh basil is going in there. Now if all you have is dried basil, when we added the oregano in there, you could have added the um, dried basil. Fresh is always better, yeah? Later on, what we're gonna do is, once all those flavors come out of it, we'll pull out the pieces of onion, that is why I left it with the sort of stem on there, it's gonna be easy for us to pull out, and the basil. 
the last ingredient to go in there is some brown sugar because sometimes the tomato can be a bit tart and I'm not trying to have no sour tasting kind of pizza sauce. This is all about balance and flavor. So I'm bringing this up to a boil as I said and then we're going to reduce it. So it will take a, you know, maybe about an hour or so but I'll let you know once it's all done because it's quite a bit of liquid in there. And speaking about balance and being tart and you know we added that sugar, we also need some salt. So in goes some sea salt in there. Keep in mind that the tomato may be packaged already in salt. So just keep on keep keep that in mind once you're doing this so later on you can always adjust it as well, yeah? Remember, you can always add more salt, but you can't remove it, right? It's been simmering away for one hour. This is gonna thicken up further. It's reduced, it's been it's reduced by at least half. It's gonna thicken up a lot further as it cools, yeah? You can personalize this, you'll taste it. If the salt is good, if you get that little sweetness of just a tiny bit of tart, that's good. The onion, take it out, boom, rubbish, we're done with that. If you want to leave the basil in there, you can do that as well too. You will allow it to cool completely, then you will put it into the containers that you're storing it in. I don't recall if I mentioned why you're such a big pot, a very high pot, is because as it bubbles, it's gonna splatter, and I'm not trying to clean up that stove. So splatter, boom, hit the side, back down inside there. The final thing I like doing, I have some fresh oregano out of my garden. I just gave it a good rinse there. I'm gonna take the leaves off the stem and chop it up. And as I turn off the stove, I'm gonna add that in there. Reason being, dried herbs versus fresh herbs, total different flavor profile. I like to end with my fresh oregano. <laughs> Sup soldiers? Listen, if you enjoy this recipe, I'd really appreciate it if you hit subscribe and click that bell notification thing. If you've made the recipe, take a picture and send it to me, email address down here. I mean, trying to tell people the email address, them butts will take the address and do all kind of thing with it. And tag me on Instagram at Caribbean Pod. I really appreciate you guys and thanks for being in my kitchen with me today. Irie, Irie. That onion out. I'm gonna toss that into the rubbish as I said. A couple pieces slipped in there, but small thing for the most part it held its shape, which is exactly why we kept the sort of top on it. There is a piece right there. So I'm gonna get that out into the rubbish as I said. Hey, there's some sauce in that. I want that sauce back in here. Here's where now, that fresh oregano. And if you're wondering, the containers that I use, I have these here, I pick it up at the box store. Yeah, they're meant to be disposed of after, but in true Caribbean style, I man just hit in my little soap of water and rinse it up and you know, use it over and over and over until it, yeah, it can't have no more. Chris here at CaribbeanPod.com not a Caribbean recipe. I explained why I shared this recipe because I have some pizza recipes coming up. If you make your own pizza and you want, yo, here's a little story. I was about maybe six years old, wanted to make my own pizza. So mommy made a little a dough for me and we didn't know about pizza sauce and stuff like that. We use ketchup. Ketchup on top of the pizza for the tomato sauce. Five, six years old, what did I know? Anyhow, once it cools down, put it into your containers and you've got your own homemade pizza sauce. It will thicken up, as I said, for when you're making those pizza. Irie? Irie. What's up, soldiers? Don't forget to click subscribe. If you've already clicked subscribe, hit that bell notification thing. I want to all you missing out on the new videos, man. Come on, click.